Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be sharing my back-to-school essentials with you. These are things which will help you to be more productive, organised, and hopefully just happier and healthier during the academic year. This video is going to be separated into three parts. We're going to start with stationary essentials, then go into digital essentials, so like apps and websites, and then other things. So first, stationary. The first thing is a small notebook for jotting down random things as and when they come up. This is a notebook which you can always keep on your person and you can use it to jot down ideas for essays, quick notes from meetings, to-do lists, just anything which you might need paper for. I use this tiny moleskin notebook and I always have it with me and I use it so much more than you'd think. Ideally, I'd recommend finding one that you can fit in your pocket. My second essential is a folder with poly pockets for keeping loose pieces of paper. As we return to in-person classes this year, this does become a must because when you're given how hand out pieces of paper, stray pieces of paper. If you don't have a folder to put them in, I guarantee you that they will get crumpled in your bag. And if I don't put it in a folder, I end up losing it as well because it just gets squashed to the bottom of the bag. So having one of these folders is really useful and they're really durable. You can use them year after year. Number three is an academic planner. My academic planner is my best friend during the academic year. I've always used an academic planner, you know, as far back as I can remember. I use this for writing out my daily to-do lists, but also planning to-do lists ahead for like the week ahead and in the holidays. I prefer writing up my to-do lists by hand as opposed to typing them. So the academic planner I use is the one I designed myself, Pumpkin Productivity. Unfortunately, we have now sold out of this, but there will be a yearly planner released in December and you can still purchase the digital PDF version of this planner too. Leading on from that is a master to-do list of some kind. So that might just be an A4 piece of paper, but having a to-do list of all of the things that you want to accomplish that week, you know, longer term goals. This is really useful because whenever a new task comes up, especially one which isn't urgent, you can quickly jot it down here so you don't forget. Number five is a calendar setup where you can input all of your important deadlines and tasks and see them at a glance. So you might want to use a digital calendar like Google calendars or Notion, or you could use a wall calendar. Number six is a small travel pencil case. And this is one that you can just transport between bags and bring with you anywhere. So for example, you might go to study with some friends at a coffee shop and you wouldn't need to bring your whole school bag or university bag with you in that case. It's nice to know that all of your stationery is in a really small compact case. So you can quickly put it in your bag, take it with you and know that you have everything. Also a good pen. Find a pen which you love writing with, which is easy to write with. It's going to be different for everybody, but my favorites are the Zebra Sarasa 0.5 nib pens, Parker fountain pens, and Lamy fountain pens. And finally, page flags for annotating books. I use page flags religiously. I love using them. They're an absolute must when it comes to extra reading, readings, like anything that you're going to want to take notes on. I sometimes find that writing notes in the middle of reading interrupts my sense of flow and my focus. Having page flags though means that you can come back to these passages at a later time when you finish the reading. Next, we are going on to apps and websites. My absolute number one essential is Notion. For the last year, I've used Notion for all of my university notes. That's all of my lecture notes, seminar notes, essay preparation, research, extra reading. All of my notes are on Notion and it's amazing having all of that in one place so I can search it as a catalogue and I know that everything I need is in this singular space. The thing I really love about Notion is just how easy it is to use. It's really intuitive. I am not a pro coder, but I can still use it to make and plan and write up anything that I might need to. You can create galleries, lists, you can make toggles to hide information and make it look neater, add pictures, create pages inside pages inside pages. So it's really easy to catalog information and it's genuinely just such a game changer as a student. If you haven't started using Notion yet, then you really need to. My second key app is Alarmy, which you might've heard me talk about before. This is what I use to wake up in the morning over the summer, your sleep schedule can get disrupted, but having a good sleep schedule, getting to bed at a reasonable time and getting up at the same time every morning is really important when you go back to school. With Alarmy, you basically have to complete some sort of challenge in order to turn off the alarm. So for example, every morning I have to scan the barcode on a book, thus getting out of bed and getting up. <laughs> 
Number three is voice memos, which just comes free on iOS. Voice memos can be really useful for recording lectures and seminars and group study sessions. This is really useful if the conversation is going quickly and your pen cannot keep up. You just make a note of the timestamp and then you can come back to it later to write up notes. You will need to check, however, with tutors and peers before recording. Next, a study playlist of some kind, so on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, which will help to keep you focused. My next essential is the clock app on the iPhone, which I actually use so much. It's great for setting timers. You could use it for Pomodoro sessions, setting timers for essay practice. It's a great way to make sure that you're just making the most out of your time. Next is the Kindle application, which I have downloaded on my desktop. I feel like this is really only useful for English students, but if you're reading a classic for university, then it usually will be in the public domain, so you can download it for free. The Kindle application allows you to easily annotate texts and make notes. And then finally, screen time limits. On the iPhone, you can set a limit on your screen time and set limits on particular apps to make sure that you're not using them. This is really useful for making sure you don't spend too much time on your phone. Just make sure you can spend more time being productive and doing the things that you enjoy. Okay, then finally we are going on to other things. First, some easy snacks which you can pack with you for school and have in study breaks, just dry snacks including a small Tupperware container for storing healthy trail mix which you can just snack on really easily. Secondly, a water bottle to keep you hydrated. It is so important to keep hydrated while you are studying and make sure that you are getting enough water because you will notice a difference in your focus if you don't. Number three is a good school bag which is not going to hurt your back and which can fit everything in that you need. Yes, an aesthetic backpack is lovely, but you need to make sure that it is practical because at the end of the day, that is the most important thing. A portable charger can be so, so handy, come in so useful, and I always like to keep one of these in my bag. Noise cancelling headphones are one of the biggest study essentials for me. I only started using noise cancelling headphones about eight or nine months ago, but I absolutely love them. I use the Beats Solo Pro wireless headphones, and if your house is noisy, this can be distracting when you're working. But having noise cancelling headphones obviously eliminates that noise, and so you can focus much more on your work. A good clean study space and desk is really important. Having a space where you can sit down and do your work and be focused. Make this a place where you enjoy being, make it an, an enjoyable space to sit in but because then maybe you'll want to spend more time there as well. I know that it is a privilege to have a desk and that not everyone can but even if it's just using a lap desk, having a small table which you've set up, just having a space which you associate with studying is really really valuable. Leading on from that, candles. I love candles. Not only do they make your space look and smell lovely, but you can find a scent which you're going to associate with productivity. So choose a scented candle and then whenever you are feeling very productive, light that candle. This way you'll begin to associate the scent with focus and productivity and so when you light the candle you will feel more focused, if that makes any sense. My next essential is very, very important, which is a library card or a working knowledge of your university library. So you can borrow books for extra reading and you don't have to spend as much on the required books. Obviously going into in-person classes, spare masks is very important. You don't want to not be allowed into a lecture or something um, if you forget your mask. I find it really hard to believe that any of us would forget our masks at this point, but just having a spare mask can be very important and make sure that you always have enough hand sanitizer too. Next, a non-academic commitment to break up your time and make sure that you're doing things other than just work and academics. And then finally, a watch. I have had this watch since I was 16 and I wear it literally every day. Yes, you can use your phone to check the time, but having a watch is just different. It's just so much nicer. It helps keep me aware of the time, make sure that I'm on time for things. So yes, they are my back to school essentials for 2021. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you found it helpful and I hope that you have a productive week.